Three Little Pig Story Once upon a time there was a sow who had three little piglets, she had difficulty feeding them. So when they are old enough, the mother releases them into the world to seek their fortune. The three pigs then made their own homes to survive. The first little pig lived lazily, he wanted to make his house out of straw. Then he met a man carrying a bundle of straw. Excuse me, said the first little pig politely. Will you sell this straw so I can build a house? The man immediately agreed, and the first little pig went out to find a good place to build his house. The second little pig also lived a lazy life, but he didn't want to build a house out of straw. He continued walking along the path and, met a man carrying a bundle of sticks. Excuse me, said the second little pig politely. Will you sell some of those logs so I can build a house? The wood seller immediately agreed, and the second little pig said goodbye to his brother. In contrast to the youngest little baby who does not think of ideas like his older brother. I will build a much bigger, better, stronger house, he thought. And he kept walking until he met a man with a cart full of bricks. Excuse me, said the third little pig, as politely as his mother had taught him. Please, can you sell me some of these bricks so I can build a house? Oh, of course. Where will these bricks be put? Said the man selling bricks. The third little pig looked around and saw a nice piece of land under a tree. There, he pointed. The three little pigs set to work, and by evening the thatched house and wooden house had been completed, but the brick house was just starting to rise on the ground. The first and second little pigs laughed, they thought their youngest brother was really ridiculous for having to work so hard when his two older brothers were done. A few days later the brick house was finished, and looked very sumptuous with its glazed windows, neat little chimney, and shiny iron door knocker. The next day, a wolf happened to pass by the path where the three little pigs lived, and he saw the thatched house, and he smelled the pigs inside. He thought the pig would make a good meal and his mouth started to water. So the wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paws through the keyhole, so he answered back. No, 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 I will stay here. Feeling annoyed, the wolf showed his teeth and said, and I will take my breath in, exhale it, and destroy your house. Then the wolf breathed in heavily, exhaled loudly, and he destroyed the first pig's thatched house. The wolf opened its jaws very wide and bit as hard as it could, but the first little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second little pig. The wolf continued down the path and he passed a second pig's wooden house. When the wolf saw the house, he again smelled the pork inside, and immediately his mouth watered again at the thought of the delicious dinner he was about to make. The wolf knocked on the door again and said, little baby, little darling, let me in, let me in. The first little pig told the second little pig not to open the door, so he replied, no, 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 I won't let any wolf fur into my house. The wolf was annoyed with the words of the second little pig, he again showed his teeth and said, and I will take my breath away, will weaken it, and will destroy your house. Without further ado, the wolf took a breath of strength, blew it into the wooden house, and crushed it to the ground. However, the greed and greed of the wolf, which tried to catch both pigs at the same time, meant that he was unable to get both. Its huge jaws could hold nothing but air, for the two little pigs were carried away as fast as they could so as not to be caught by the wolves. Not staying still, the wolf chased the two pigs and he almost caught them. But the two pigs made it to the third pig's brick house, and the third pig closed the door before the wolf could catch them. 
The three little pigs were so scared, they had nowhere to hide from the wolf that wanted to spread its wings. The wolf had kept his hunger at bay all day, and his appetite was high to chase after the pigs and now he could smell the three of them inside, and he knew that the three little pigs would be a good feast. So the wolf knocked on the door and said, Little baby, little darling, let me in, let me in. But the third little baby peeked through the keyhole, and seeing the wolf's narrow eyes, he was frightened and answered, No, no. No, get out of here. Because the wolf thought he could tear down the two previous pig houses, he did the same to the third pig's house made of bricks. Okay, I'll take another breath, exhale really hard, and I'll understand your home. The wolf repeatedly inhaled and exhaled loudly, over and over again until it finally gasped. Wolves can't cover that house. Finally, he was so out of breath that he couldn't breathe and couldn't breathe anymore. Then he stopped to rest and think for a while. It turns out the wolf found another way, namely through the chimney. He then took out the ladder around him to climb onto the roof and enter through the chimney but the third little pig heard the sound of the wolf's footsteps on the roof. He immediately told his two brothers to light a fire in the fireplace to prevent the wolves from entering. As the wolf entered through the chimney of the house, he felt something warm on his tail. But because he was very hungry, he still went down the chimney. The deeper he descended, his tail became very hot and smelled of burning. Apparently, the wolf's tail was burning with fire. Knowing its tail was on fire, the wolf evolved out of the chimney and ran into the forest. Since then, the three little pig brothers lived happily together forever in their windproof brick house and the evil wolf never came back. The moral message from this story is, to get better results, children need to try more creatively and harder. The three little pigs also teach them to be polite to everyone. And the wolf teaches children not to be greedy when they want to chase something.